Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're we'll going to be going over is how to create custom camera lag, just to give that nice effect, which I will show you now. So if I were to hit play, what we can see is the camera is going to move to the right location. You can change that if you want later on, but essentially, once we have the camera here, the player can move about, and you see we're going to have this camera lag like so, so it just gives it a more of a smooth camera movement, as you can see here. Now this is quite a common thing you have in a lot of games and you can customize this as much as you want. So you see my camera is moving quite slowly, it's very smooth, you can increase that, you can slow it down, whatever you want. You can really customize this to get it exactly how you want it to be. But this is a very nice thing you get, especially in kind of side scroller games, you get a camera system like this. Obviously this is a third person template but you can use this in any kind of game you want. But I'm just be going over essentially how to create this custom camera lag that you see here. So without further ado. Let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our player character blueprint. So for me that's going to be content, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. In here we're going to select our camera boom and what you can do is you can search for camera lag and you see this is already a feature we have here. However for a lot of people this doesn't give them the effect they are after which is why I'm creating it myself. So just note I do know camera lag is a thing but this is just custom camera lag we're making now. What we want to do is select the location under transform and we're going to set it from relative to world. And essentially what this means is this location here, 008, before it was 008 in the blueprint, but now it is 008 in the world, which is why at the start of the video you saw the camera kind of start somewhere and then move towards a player. That's because it's going from 008 in the world to the player blueprint. So you can set this to be the actual value you want for where the player is starting. However, for me, I'm not going to bother with that. It will be perfectly fine. So let's go to the event graph here. Once you've set it to the absolute location or world, we're going to drag in a reference to our camera room here. So we're going to get that. Out of this, we are going to set world location of our camera room. So we're setting the location of the camera room like so. And the new location of this wants to be, we'll come out of this and get a V interp2 which is basically going to smoothly transition from this current location or vector to our target location or vector. So the current is going to be the current location of the camera. So we'll drag out of camera room again and get world location. Put that into current there. And the target wants to be the player location. So we'll do target and have get actor location. So we're going from where the camera currently is to where we want the camera to be. And the delta time we will do get world delta seconds and that is essentially just the time in between each frame just so it's going to be nice and smooth no matter what your frame rate is. I'm just going to move these up a little bit just to make it look a little bit more nice and organized like so. I'll move these up too as well. And then the interrupt speed I'm just going to set to 1. This is where you can modify the speed of how quick this is. So you can increase this to make it quicker or you can decrease this to make it lower. For me, I found a value of 1 is a nice smooth movement which I'm after. And then simply, we're just going to do this on event tick. Now obviously you don't want to use event tick too much as it isn't the most efficient thing in your game. But I believe for this, this will be perfectly fine. And if you don't believe that, you can do it differently as well on a loop or just for when the player is moving. But for me, it's going to be perfectly fine on event tick. We will compile, save that, and that is it all perfectly done for us. Let's minimize this and hit play to test it out. So you see the camera is moving towards where the player is now. And if I to move forward, it's going to kind of lag. And if I just stop, it's going to, going to smoothly move towards this same thing, whichever direction I'm going in. So you notice there, you can kind of walk off screen. That's again, just because of the speed. So let's speed up a little bit. Let's say that's too slow for you. Let's set this to a speed of five, just to go a lot higher up. So you can really see the difference this is making. That now, you can see it does have that smoother movement to it. It's a lot more subtle, it's less noticeable, but it is there, so it is still giving that smooth movement that you see. Let's set it down to three, and then see what this one looks like. So we can see now we have the movement being like this. Again, it's a lot quicker, but it still gives that nice effect. And this is really how easy it is to customize this to have it look how you want. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set up a camera lag system in which the camera is going to, have to be following the player as it normally would, but it's going to have a more smooth movement as you can see perfectly on screen here. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.